morning. Welcome to our daily devotion, continuing to reflect on the words of Max Licato in the book On Calvary's Hill. Today we're focusing on forgiveness, a word so much easier to say than to do. I don't know about you, but I have hurts from the past that still weigh on my heart, grudges that I hold on to, refusing to let go. But it's in those times of the most bitterness that I'm drawn to look to Jesus, who forgave even in the most dire circumstances. Our devotion today is, t- is entitled, Father, forgive them. From the Gospel of Mark. Let this Messiah, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those crucified with him also heaped insults on him. Our reflection for today. Of all the scenes around the cross, this one angers me the most. What kind of people would mock a dying man? Who would be so base as to pour the salt of scorn upon open wounds? The words thrown down that day were meant to wound. And there's nothing more painful than words meant to hurt. If you have suffered or are suffering because of someone else's words, you'll be glad to know that there's a balm for this laceration. Meditate on these words. When they hurled their insults at him, he didn't retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. That comes from 1 Peter. Jesus didn't retaliate or bite back. He didn't say, I'll get you. Come up here and say that to my face. Just wait until after the resurrection, buddy. No. Those statements weren't found on Jesus' lips. He simply left the judging to God. He didn't take on the task of seeking revenge. He demanded no apology. He hired no bounty hunters and sent out no posse. He to the astounding contrary, spoke on their defense. He said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. When you think about it, they hadn't the faintest idea what they were doing. They were a stir-crazy mob, mad at something they couldn't see, So they took it out on, of all people, God. But they didn't know what they were doing. Yes, the dialogue that Friday morning was bitter. The verbal stones were meant to sting. How Jesus, with a body racked with pain, eyes blinded by his own blood, lungs yearning for air, how he could speak on behalf of some heartless thugs is beyond comprehension. Never, never have I shown such love. If ever a person deserved a shot at revenge, Jesus did, but he didn't take it. Instead, he died for them. How could he do that? I don't know, but I do know that all of a sudden my wounds 
seem a little less painless. My grudges and hard feelings are suddenly childish. Sometimes I wonder if we don't see Christ's love as much in the people he tolerated as in the pain he endured. Amazing grace. Let us pray. Man of sorrows, what a name for the Son of God who came. Thank you for being despised and forsaken of men that I might know your amazing grace. Hallelujah, what a Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. May you have a blessed day, focused on the difficult task of forgiveness.